realize what a mess this is. Hi, Marva. How are ya? So I thought we'd do a mandala tonight. Um, this I got from Gina K Designs. This is the Mandala Maker Tool. I started playing with one um, when I first got them, just because I wanted to see. And uh, they're pretty cool. So um, I'm gonna be using Canson. I'm gonna cut my paper into a square piece. This is Bristol Smooth, because I, I like the way it colors. I'm gonna go ahead and trim it down to a square piece of seven by seven and knock everything else over in the meantime. Then I just have to find the center. That's one thing I didn't do is I didn't get the center correctly on this and that's why it's hanging over on one side. Okay, be safe. Gosh, we were supposed to get pounded, but we got nothing. I think the sun's even shining. So I'm gonna take my ruler. Where did I put it? I had it two seconds ago, y'all. Here it is. And since I know this is seven by seven, I need to make a mark at three and a half. Because I wanna find the exact center. Um, pencil, there you are. There's three and a half. Three and a half. Line this up and make a mark right here. Not three and a half. Okay, does that mean I'm going to get it in the center here? Probably not. <laughs> I know you do, Melissa, because you've had some pretty bad experiences with it. I'm just trying to get this cover off of here. I don't know why I keep a cover on it, but I do. And I'm using the stamp wheel because it works wonderfully for this type of thing. So if I'm seven by seven, I need to be, you know what, I'm just going to eyeball this. We know where the center of this is because it shows, gosh, I didn't clean it off last time I used it. I thought I did. Let's clean it. And I'm going to be using just First Fine Claire. And then let's get out the stamps here. And decide which one I want to be the center. I think I'm going to choose this little floral. And what you can do is put this over. And there's a little, I don't know if you can see, that, see it, but there's a little X mark there. And you can line up the middle of this, and I may have to get my head over it to make sure that everything's centered from there. These are great stamps. They stamp out, they don't, at least in my experience, I didn't need to condition them or anything. And so for this one, it's just the first stamp, so I don't need to worry about lining anything up. my little chamois and clean it off and decide on the next row. So many choices. Um, so I'm going to kind of start small and then go bigger. Let's go gonna go this little leaf looking one and I think I want the leaf pieces in between 
So the only one you have to line up is the first one. The rest will line up automatically. The trick is they're sticky. Okay, come on. Don't be so sticky on me. Let me try and do it nearer to myself. Maybe that'll change things. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the each corner side. That's perfect right there. Don't move. <laughs> See who's come in. We've got Hi Marva, Kathy, Melissa, Frida, Cordelia, Diana, Gloria. Howdy, 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 howdy. So I'm going to start at this juncture right here, pick up my stamp, flip her over, tap, 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 try not to tap on that, you can help it, and press, perfect, tap, 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 let's see, I'm going to have to go two over, and press. Hi, Carol. And press. You don't have to stand on it or anything. <laughs> it, it presses just fine. And all I'm doing is I'm kind of looking where the last one was and making sure that I don't overlap it. So you see my lines came in on my little flower making it um, not so much a flower anymore just a centerpiece. Now this these stamps are um, of course high quality photopolymer stamps and they were designed by Gina Kay's daughter Rena. Get in there. And it won't stamp down until it slips into there so you don't have that you know, risk of accidentally stamping down before you were ready with this thing. Let's see, I think it needs to go here. No? Okay, it needs to go here. There we go. There's the second row. Look how easy. So easy. Okay, next. I want something that's going to come in between those two. You can kind of hold them on there if you want to, to sort of look at what you might want to do next. If I did one like this, then I'd have space to do something in between. I think I'll do that. Hi, Star. So, <clears throat> I'm, all I'm basically trying to do is get the sticky off of this so it won't stick to my fingers while I'm trying to place it. Because <laughs> I really don't want to keep getting my head in the camera. <clears throat> but I will if I have to. And I'm looking through the stamp, making sure, stop moving. There we go. That's the hardest part is placing the first one. Okay. I know the first one I'm always starting with my double double dots at the top. <sighs> I didn't quite get my placement. I'm let it gonna let it go. I'm let it go.
And the reason I keep putting my tap back on my ink, in case you wondered, because I know I'm going to dip myself into it if I don't. not super talkative sorry about that I haven't been feeling very well I've got kind of a cold well that's allergies yeah Just, bleh. That's why yeah, it's, it seems redundant. Cap on, cap off, cap on, cap off. But <clears throat> you've got your project that you work so hard on. And or you get your fingers in that ink and you don't notice it. And you put them on your project. Let's see here. What's going to go cool in between those? <sighs> I think this one. Yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try and get it straight. Let's try first putting it on the right way. All right, guys. I'm going to see my head here for a minute. No, no getting around it. Don't stick to my finger, you turkey. I know, I can put stuff on my fingers. Yeah, I don't wanna. I might have to. <laughs> Hang on. Let's see if that helps. I just don't wanna get it on my stamp. Oh, Nancy. Well, thanks for hanging out and listening, anyway. Let's hope that's in the right place. Plus that, I can't keep my glasses clean to save my life. I have an eye problem, and my eye won't stop watering. And so it's constantly getting my glasses dirty. Okay, top position first. Okay, cross your heart. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Susan. Oh, no, I'm sorry you're having a migraine day. A lot of people are. <laughs> it's got to be, it's got to be pollen. I don't know. <sighs> I was watching Vitty Penny's video few minutes ago and she said that she was having a migraine too but that it was a you know recorded the other day but still see I'm getting black on my fingers just because I'm sloppy about putting my lid back on Aren't these cute, Gloria? Um, I bought the second set. I, I don't know. I don't have the first set, but I liked the patterns in the second set. So, I, you never know. I may get the first one, too. Okay. 
These would be so pretty for like on a Christmas ornament type stamp. I've been working my tail off today in the artistic world. I have a big project going on that's a surprise and um, slash secret. And then, so I was working on that since several hours yesterday and several hours today. And then I wanted to play with the Simon Hurley stuff that I got. I just, there's not enough hours in the day. I need to find me a job in the crafting world. All right, who's next? Now I could have something there, there, and there. That'll leave space, but you've got these little dots that you can put in those spaces. They go like that. Just kind of making sure that I have an even amount of space between the two um, last appendages. I don't know what you would call them. <laughs> Do you need me to zoom in? I can zoom in. Let's see, maybe if I zoom in for you guys a little bit. The problem is with me zooming in is I forget to keep myself in frame. <laughs> Hopefully that helps. And then it casts a shadow from my phone. All right, here we go. How quick is this? Oh, oh, perfect. I love that one. <laughs> I think that was my favorite one when I saw these. weird migraines they're not like I'm in pain migraines I'm blind when I have them I can't see it's like um, it's like looking through those glass things that they used to have in the back of Volkswagen vans <laughs> they're all psychedelic looking that's what it's like looking looking through my eye and it's usually just my right eye it's really crazy and then there's this, yeah, sometimes like when it happens, you could ask me who the president was and I know in my head, but I couldn't tell you with my mouth. It's like a little mini stroke, but it's not. It just acts like one. But they tend to hit me in the springtime, so I feel like they're allergy related. Oh, this is gorgeous. My goodness could do this all day so easy too remember when I first demoed this I said it was kind of stiff well it broke in that row and that that could fill your um, regular a2 size card right there let's put some fillers in now okay we have this little dot I feel like I need to pick this one up with my tweezers it's so small And it wants to stick to my finger. I'm 
Come on now. <laughs> you thinker. At least she had the foresight to make one side wider than the other. <laughs> this thing would be lost in a heartbeat. Don't stick to my finger. Do not. All right, let's just see if I can inch it around. There we go. Now, my curiosity is, is can I get it to both sides with this stamp wheel? We're going to find out. Or am I going to have to put, you know, place it again? Okay. just out of curiosity if I turn it one is it gonna go in the right place it kind of looks like it will let's try it it's only paper so if I was in that position I next need to be in this position Oops, I missed a spot. And that, oh, where is it? It's so small I can't even see it. <laughs> I guess I am pressing down pretty hard with this. I guess it'd be better to not press down so hard. You could do, and I think I've done a mandala for you guys before with the mandala maker type tool with little turtles or bees. I forgot which one it was. This one is take the longest because I've got 16 of them to do. So much better than turning paper though. See, that, that thing's going to be super easy to lose. I'm going to be very careful with it. Very, very careful. Hi, Melanie. Happy Friday Eve. I don't know. <laughs> Friday is my Sunday. So, <laughs> okay, what next? Where do we go? Whoa, whoa, where do we go? Oh, don't even start. Would I like some little flowers in there? Not there. Mm. <sighs> now these go two ways. Oh, let's look at these. If I could. 
All right, I'm bringing it down here where I can see it. <laughs> That one could go there, and its mate could go here, but I don't think it can. Um, they're not exactly the same. Are they? I can't tell. But it's going to overlap unless I put it up higher. Stay still, please. All right. Why not? We can't see, sorry. Can you see now? Um, Melanie, you can't. Let me explain why. Let me zoom out a little. Sorry. There we go. Um, so there is this thing called an angel policy. And most stamp companies, including Gina K, um, there's a clause when you purchase the stamps that you're not allowed to digitally reproduce them for any reason. Any reason. So that would include... Oh, flash flood right now, Crystal. I saw that there was some crazy stuff going on in Colorado. Um, so, I mean, what you do in the privacy of your own home, it, it is what it is, right? But for me to come on here and, and film or recommend doing that is a no-no. Oh, yes, I love that. I've done it. I did it with the feathers. I didn't realize somebody, my friend, reminded me that companies have angel policies that I didn't realize um, I was violating. So I quickly took my post down and apologized. So that kind of makes my, st my case for the companies that sell digital stamps because they're already digital. <laughs> they're meant to be printed. Hi, Candace. So, yeah, grab those and foil away. Feathers came out so pretty, too. <laughs> they were gorgeous. Yeah, it's this this platform is great, um, especially for stuff like this. It's great for ink blending on. It's great for stenciling on. Oh, excuse me. Okay, there's those guys. So when you are purchasing, you know, it's something to consider when you're purchasing. What, what rights do you have with the particular thing that you're buying? And are you willing to, you know, go along with whatever the company is asking you to do? If you're not, then don't buy from them. All right. Oh, that's getting pretty intense right there. No. Interesting one right here. Very interesting floral shape. See, I need something to go in between there. 
We'll do this one. No, nope, I don't have that on there straight. I can tell by looking at it. Now imagine you can use these lines. Hmm, I wonder. Let me try something here. Let me flip this over. Yeah, the lines aren't. Probably if I had used the lines in the first place. Um, sorry about my head in the way. Yeah, see, that was, that didn't work. <laughs> that, my brain can't do backwards. All right, let me start down here where I can see it better. Stick into my finger. Just nudging it a little bit with my tweezers because I can tell it doesn't, it's not equally distant between these two things. Although the, I probably didn't get those equally distant either. The true mandala probably would be. Ah, but this is mine. Okay, let go. All right, we're settling for that. Always want to start in the up position. Oh, you don't have to. You can start wherever you like, but <laughs> okay, here we go. Perfect the mundo. Then we get to color this bad boy. <laughs> That's going to be intricate. So the bigger you make it, the more you're going to have to color. Or you could just do simple rainbow ink blending and maybe that's what I'll do. It's not much different flipping this thing over than um, opening and closing the Misty. Let's get it in the right spot. There we go. Okay. What time is it? 5.30. So that took me 30 minutes. All right, thank you. Thank you, Nancy. Have a good night. Don't forget to work. <laughs> she gets distracted. How do I know? All of a sudden, all the funny cat videos land in my inbox on Instagram. <laughs> I'm like, Nancy, you're not working, are you? <laughs> I think I'm going to call that. Um, I think. Because I don't have room for much more. That's a little too big. I mean, I could do a lot, a lot, a lot of more intricate stuff, but I think I'm going to call it. So when you're taking your paper out of here, you want to lift this rubbery part and peel it back like this, rather than trying to peel this up off because this stuff is sticky. Tricky, tricky. Is this it? No. This goes to that. Where's the one that goes to this? I don't know where I put it. Okay. 
It'll turn up. So this one, obviously, I'm gonna have to cut down, right? Which is fine. I don't have a problem with that, but I do wanna heat set that ink. Yes, I know what you mean, Melanie. I find myself working in like this much space, and I think that's most of us. I just don't want to smear the ink. And then I'm going to do one more little insurance piece. I'm just going to take a piece of paper that I'll later use for die cuts. Boy, that's a big difference in whites, isn't it? And just... All right, let's try it. All right, so I think that I'll ink blend outward. Or maybe I'll come from the outside in, I don't know. Let me get my favorite little ink blending mat here, which is dirty because I've been messing with it all day. Let me just wipe it off here real quick. I don't want to get mix up my inks. It's a great stamp set. And I mean, you can go as large or small as you want. And that's going to make an amazing snowflake. Like if you stamped it, I mean, we just did plain black ink today, but the sky's the limit on what you can do. Now, would I try to emboss this whole thing? I don't think so. Maybe if I use Versamark, I don't know how quickly it dries. So I don't know. All right. Let's get some ink out. Now I want to use dye ink with this because um, pigment ink is going to cover my blackness and I don't want that. So let us, <sighs> and I just have to decide which ink I want to use. I could just mix them up. Um, I don't think I want to use my Lavinia's, they're too dark. Um, maybe I will. Yeah, I think I will. All right, bear with me here while I get these out because they're buried back here. I rarely ever use them anymore and shame on me. Come on guys and please don't everybody fall out. I have them in, I have this ink stand for them and I'll just lay them flat on here. And let me get, where's that piece of paper I had? All right, we'll start, well, we'll start with Sundance. Why not? It's, it fell out, so it wants to be used. And why well, as well grab my Lavinia brushes too. They work well with Lavinia inks. <laughs> and let me just kind of clear off the brush. Start here and just kind of circle out. I want it kind of intense right there in the center. And then we'll go to go to Lime Punch. going to swipe that inward because I want them to kind of blend. Okay. And then we'll go to probably one of my favorites. Is mermaid. Oh, I love that color. I've got a lot of ink on here still. Hi, Michelle. 
All right, mermaid. And I'm just gonna come in and just sort of blend her in. heavy there. But you have to be careful. It's better to start light and then come in, you know, more coats. <laughs> now I'm just coming to the center of these little pieces right here and just giving them a, a swipe. Just so they had, they're a little bit darker. All right. And next we should be coming in with... Mm, Let's do mulberry. Thank you, Crystal. Are you late, Michelle? I didn't notice. <laughs> do I want mulberry? Yep, I do. And I'm just gonna do a circular motion with it. You could come in and just color these with your pencils, color them with your markers, color them with watercolor, anything you want. Just whatever you have. So my dog Duke, the saga of my dog Duke. He's outside screaming his bloody head off right now because Mike had to go somewhere. And um, he used to come into my office while I'm working if Mike has to go somewhere because he's like has really bad anxiety. And he would be fine. He'd just crawl up on the couch and go to sleep. So yesterday he had something different in mind and decided to go under my desk where all my computer wires are and start digging around. He's one of those diggers and going crazy and then start yelling. And I had on the phone with me an angry customer. <laughs> so now when Mike leaves, Duke has to go outside. 6.30 in the morning, welcome to coffee. <laughs> uh, hi Dawn, I'm glad you're here. I got your note today, it's so adorable. I know another person that we follow on YouTube goes live at the same time. Um, and I almost didn't because I just didn't really feel very good. But I feel like I haven't been making videos ever since I haven't been on um, a major design team. I haven't been making a lot of pre-recorded videos because I don't have to. <laughs> okay, there we are with the mulberry. And let's see here. Where do I want to go from here? I think I want to go with Blue Lagoon. There's new colors too. There's green sleeves. There's midnight blue. That it's almost a black. I don't want to go with that. Oh shoot! Got my fingers right in it. See, it's almost black. <laughs> And there's Emperor Red. Oh, I didn't use any red. Let's do red. I don't think I've even dipped anything in this red. Woo, that's some red. Okay, we're gonna need to be very, very careful with that one. Tap off a lot. Light. Light, 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 light. 
Wow. That is some massive red. Hopefully it settles down a little. I would like some eggplant parmesan. <laughs> that sounds good. I love it. A really light hand, y'all, but hardly pressing down at all. This is though why I chose Bristol Smooth because it ink blends like a dream. Could almost go a little darker there. Hi, Carla. Good to see you. Yep, I went too heavy right there. I didn't tap off enough. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Tracy Dutton ink blend. She's amazing at it. Let me just get this out of the way because I'm working myself completely out of space. <laughs> and set it somewhere where it's not going to fall over. Make sure I'm coming into the last color so that we have that blending going on. It takes a little bit of practice getting used to these brushes for ink blending. I will say that if you get too heavy, there's nothing you can do about it other than just try and blend into it. I got a couple of Gina K inks um, when I bought this. No, when I bought, yeah, when I bought this. And um, I really like them. I haven't tried ink blending with them or anything. I only bought two colors because I didn't know if I'd like them or not. I do. Really nice. In fact, maybe I'll use one of them to fix up the last corner here. But she has one that's called Craft. So like it's the color of craft paper. I really like that. And again, you could use any kind of ink you want for this. I just decided to show my Lavinia some love. I've got a few like bald spots that I want to fill in. One bald spot right here too. All right, let's do, let's grab this sweet corn and see what happens with it. Um, I want to sure that my brush is free of the last yellow it used. You can always use these too. <laughs> Hi Regina. All right, let's see how I think I'd probably need to, since this is a felt pad and the other ones are squishy pads, this is the sweet corn. It's kind of a golden color. I love it. I don't feel like I really needed to tap off with that one. 
because again it's a felt pad so these these pick up ink pretty well but better off of a felt pad or off of a squishy pad trying to get a little bit of a blend going here best I can I have a, an old old one that I think I inherited from Nancy or somebody of Gina Kay's which is asparagus which is really beautiful too Okay, so that obviously cannot be a card. So I have to preview where I'm gonna cut this thing apart. So I'm gonna grab my rectangly things and let's go. I can use all the parts for one thing or another. What do you think? Down here. Hi, Valerie. No, this is, um, any, for anybody coming in late, this is the Gina K Mandala Maker 2. And we stamped it out using our Altenew stamp wheel. So, I mean, I, I can't wait, but yeah. Um, oh, that's nice, Carla, that you got those flowers. Thank you. Um, I think I want, I think I want to go, so I want to be able to include all the colors just going to make a little pencil mark because um, I'm going to have to manually cut some of this off because this whole thing won't fit in my uh, vagabond. Oh, can I see where I made the mark? Well, I know that if I cut it down to six inches, let's cut it down to five and a half. That could be pretty across the top of a card. Now, give me tape. I'm going to use two pieces because I've just put new um, plates on my vagabond. So I'm putting everything on there the correct way until I finally don't do that. <laughs> the only thing about mint tape, it doesn't want to stick to wet ink. All right, let me just run this through. much okay so there's a couple little spots here where I feel like I need to touch up a little and let's grab a card base black one maybe a green one I've been kind of on a colored card base kit uh -uh, not the green one I'm 
this color in particular, and I think I'm almost out. No, I'm thinking black. What do you guys think? Um, no, I have not had any issues with the stamp wheel thus far. When I very first got it, it was kind of stiff. Um, make sure that you don't have any bubbles in your bottom piece. I'm going with black. And I think I shall pop that up. Yes. And any spots that you might have missed, you can go in with your micron pen if you want to. I'm not gonna. I feel just fine about it. Hi, Ginger. Yeah, I'm going with the black. You guys are right. Black, black it is. I, it would be best with the blackest black that I have, but I'm not... Mm -mm. <laughs> not using it for that. Standing up. Yeah, pretty close. Now I need sentiment. And I made a bunch of sentiments today. A bunch. Um, because I got this. And I think I want to go with a... I don't want my sentiments on here because it's impossible to pick up paper off of there without huge frustration. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. This is vellum. It's a very thick vellum. And what I'm going to use to pop this up is I know I showed you guys a video before of this trick. Um, this is just acetate and there's about seven layers glued together, not glued together, but stuck together with double-sided tape and um, makes great popper uppers. Where are my scissors? So I'm just going to cut a, cut a chunk off here. And they're hard to cut when you got them that thick, but... <laughs> They're fine. I'm just going to peel off the double-sided tape. Um, I need my tweezers. And I'll pop one right here. And I need a bigger one. They don't stick together perfectly. So, you know, when you go to cut them, they try to break apart. They just basically get slippy slidey and just push them back down. Because double-sided tape, uh, acetate doesn't like to be held down. Now, maybe if you use that red line stuff, it might. Let's go here. I need another small one right there. Let's scoot this down a little. <sighs> Try not to cut my fingers off. So yeah, I just cut the acetate into quarter inch strips. Go right there. Now... I'm 
I mean, it's not perfect. See, I got a little black in there, but it, it works. Come on. <laughs> the problem is I can't see my eyes watering. There we go. Okay. Once this is down, it's down. You're not moving it. I think we're going to go right here. So there, you can pop up acetate. I mean, pop up vellum, and you really, I mean, you can kind of see it, but not really. Let's put some bling on that bad boy and call it a day. Yeah, I'll have to clean up my mess later. Mm -hmm. What do I want? I want pearls? No. Do I want stars? No. I want these these little disco ball things. Get that out of the way. do too many of them just a couple a couple three just to kind of liven it up because lord knows i hate fighting with these stupid things <laughs> okay. i look for ones that are already flipped over Go hiding from me. It's a... hmm. All right, happy with that placement. Glue, there you are. Thank you, Gloria. You could come in later too with a glitter pen and go over the little details if you wanted to. But I'm out of time, so. So it took, what, 30 minutes to do that mandala? Mandala, however, the right way of saying it is. There we go. We have it, our little, let me get it here so you can see the pretty bling. Stamp Wars is indeed this Saturday and I hope to see you guys there. We're having a very special VIP guest and you don't want to miss it. Thank you, everybody, for coming and hanging out with me. Um, there's a link down below in the description box for this the uh, these um, this Mandala Maker too. It is it is an affiliate link. Um, doesn't cost you any more, but I might make you know a few cents off it. So um, just want to make you aware. Thanks for joining me. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Hang out. See you guys. See you guys in the room.